this by no means is a tutorial. Mm. This is just some dude hitting some keys, <laughs> listening to what sounds it makes. Should we start with um, Claire de Lune? Hello, and welcome to Get In The Mix. <laughs> yeah, it's Elliot at Get In The Mix. We've got some new goodies in today. It's new for us. Innovation Peak 8 Voice Hybrid Synth. Pretty cool, so you've got your Oxford digital oscillators, and then everything else is analog, apart from you've got your digital effects as well. Uh, lots of modulation capabilities with this little bad boy, but today we're just gonna run through the sounds. Yeah. Just gonna kind of have a little uh, run through and um, and see what it's capable of. So uh, yeah, did you just zoom in on my face? No. Well, that sounds quite nice. So yeah, it's worth mentioning that we've just got the uh, SL Mark III out to control this, just coming out of the MIDI out uh, into the MIDI in here. The handy thing about using this is that because it's got peak presets on it, a lot of it's actually mapped already. Um, so we can use, um, for example, whoops. Oh, a nice little. Yeah, It's worth noting that the effects in this thing sound really nice. A cascading delay. Nice little uh, saw. Nice little snappy envelopes on the bad boy. Ooh. Got a good bit of snap to it. Nice resi filter. You got overdrive. idea what I've just done here. I put latch on and now it won't stop. <laughs> just adding another note. <laughs> Does sound really nice. In fact, I'm going to whack the volume up a little bit.
It's got a really, really lush reverb. It does sound like proper space age dreamy. Sounds like Harry Potter. <laughs> Nearly! <laughs> that was cool, wasn't it? I wish I knew how to play um, the, what is it? F Blade Runner. Oh, the... yeah. Because this is a pure, like, this is a Blade Runner. That is a Blade Runner. In fact, it wouldn't even surprise me if the patch was called Blade Runner. No, it's called Whirly Pad. <laughs> That'd be sick though, if I could play it, but I can't play keyboard. Harsh, it's got a lot of like pads and stuff. In it. Just trying to work out how you get down to the ah, that's quicker. When I hear all the weird, it's got lot, lots of wavetables in this and, and digital oscillators, which is kind of like the masterpiece of this synth, if you will, is the fact that it has digital oscillators. Uh, these, obviously what I was saying, Oxford oscillators, you can see it written here. That is kind of the center point of the sounds. Well, obviously, because it's the oscillators, but it's like the, uh, what, what's the word that I'm trying to find, Ollie? Um, the Pierre de Resistance, no, it's not that one. Um, deep and wide. Oh, that's got a good amount of bottom end to it. Oh, that really, I might have even clipped. That has got so much bottom end on it. Is the camera picking it up? <laughs> that is, that is the definition of deep and wide. See, look, this is like what I'm talking about. Yeah, we'll get that. Disco tech. But the stereo image on this is like really nice. It has got really nice. That's massive. Bypass that. Oh, 
before, what was that? These are very like, um, breathy. What? Sounds really nice. See, this is where these sorts of oscillators can really just expand the sonic possibilities of synthesis over just traditional synths that have just your normal analog waveforms, which this has as well, but it's got a bunch of other stuff as well, which makes it super cool. Um, and like that. Nice little sort of band pass. This one is called Filter. Oh, my! My! Listen to that! That is one note! That is one note! That sounds insane. For one note, anyway. Let's try a chord. Nice, my favourite chord. Oh, yeah. Glassy pad, that is. That's a glassy pad. I like that. It sounds really. I really do like this. Nice brass. It's just an analog kick. It sounds pretty nice, doesn't it? Obviously, it doesn't matter where you play it on the keyboard. It's a good keyboard kick. tracking, but it is a nice kick. Oh, this is analog snare. It's snare well. Yeah. Shake it. That's pretty cool. I'm assuming that's using something in the arpeggio. There's a lot of menu diving on this, which is probably my only criticism. Um, but I understand why there's a lot of menu diving, because when you've got something that can do this amount in this sort of size, then you're going to have to do menu diving. Um, they sound pretty cool as well. I guess once you get your head around the whole menu dive part of it, when you learn how to navigate around your way this thing, which I have no idea about doing, this by no means is a tutorial. This is just some dude hitting some keys listening to what sounds it makes. Your stereotypical guy that walks into a shop and hits a note and plays with a filter calf. It's basically me. But I can imagine when you sit down and spend some time with this and learn how to learn how to really program it and get into the nitty gritty, then this thing is a massively powerful sound design tool. It's just the sheer amount of different sort of sounds that you can get is just... It's just really nice. Just really pleasant to listen to. No samples EP. This is an old bottle. I was assuming that was probably going to be the end of the bank. So let's see how many banks we've got. I'm assuming it's probably going to be yeah, four banks of 127. So there is a lot to kind of wet your wet your lips with out of the box. What? Yeah, wet your whistle. Wet your whistle. Yeah. Is that what it's supposed to be? Wet your appetite. That is like super freaky. You see, there's a bit of voice stealing there. The thing with the voice stealing is something that obviously you can't get around. It's eight voices. That's why. That's why. 
that's why it happens. Uh, but Novation have also got the summit that is fast approaching. But effectively, all the summit is is a double peak uh, with 16 voices and with some added features as well, of course, which just makes it better. Obviously, that's kind of the elder brother of, uh, of this chap here. But for the price point, what, 1,200 at the moment, 1,250, this thing is an absolute bagging. The sounds it can do, it's just, I mean, you could just have this one synth and you'd be able to make complete whole productions. It's got every sort of sound that you could possibly need. My only criticism really about this is the fact that it's eight voices, which isn't really that much of a criticism, um, and the menu diving. Modular perk. So yeah, this synth really is defined by patch 52 on bank B. It is an absolute bad boy. Uh, I absolutely love it. I think it's awesome. Um, my only criticism, obviously, the menu diving, but it's something that you'll get used to. It's really solidly built, uh, nice wooden end cheeks, uh, more than enough connectivity on the back of it as well, um, which is something that I haven't really spoke to, but I know you've obviously got your in, out and through. No wobble in these pots whatsoever, which is something that you do see on... I've seen it on some quite expensive sims. I'm not going to name drop anyone specifically, but it's really solidly built machine and I really highly rate it. So this is actually my last video ever, so you're never going to see me ever again unless uh, um, unless by some divine miracle um, I'm uh, asked out of the goodness of getting the mix's heart to come and uh, <laughs> hit a keyboard pointlessly again. Um, so moving on to new ventures. It's been, it's been a pleasure, been a great year and seven months. Uh, it's awesome to sit down and obviously uh, get the opportunity to play with this sort of stuff. Again, if you want to come and play with it, you can obviously come to the store. It's something that you've got to come and have a go with. Uh, so, yeah. Cool. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. Time to say goodbye. La, 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 la. I don't know if this is still recording the Ableton, I hope so. It's locked.